Uh, not other than President Cov what? President Covind has faced discrimination. What the hell is this guy talking about? Um, what is this guy talking about? None other than President Covind has faced discrimination. India's president is a Dalit. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're saying the president is a Dalit, and he's saying, oh, this is kind of like, <gasps> wait, is this like India's version of Obama was president, so there is no there's no racism? Is this India's version of hey Obama was elected Obama a black man was elected as president so there's no racism? Is that India's version of that? Oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh I say India's president was not allowed into a temple in Nepal because of his caste. No way. Are you serious? Current president of India so you guys have prime minister yes ex you got yes exactly wow yes 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 <laughs> interesting that's so similar why are we, why are there so many similarities between right wing people they made him sit on the stairs oh so this guy is saying like look even the goddamn president so this guy is saying there is discrimination because even if you're president you feel you face discrimination so he's he's mentioning the same thing you guys are mentioning he's saying that even a president faces discrimination yeah I, I wasn't when i said like um when i was saying like your pre this this president and obama's version of uh, i wasn't referring to this guy i just guessed i just guessed that Given that your president is a Dalit, there must be people who are like, hey, caste discrimination. What caste discrimination? We have a Dalit president, okay? So I just could imagine that must be like a trending argument somewhere in India. But this guy is on our side. He's like, look, even if you're... It's, it's worse in India, okay? Because at least in the United States, okay, there is like anti-black racism in the United States, okay? But if you're the president, you're not going to experience that, okay? So a lot, most, like a lot of black people experience racism, right? But if you're like an Oprah Winfrey, you're not going to notice that, okay? If you're a celebrity, if you're rich, you're going to be like, yes, I see that most, a lot of black people are experiencing this and there's statistics to show that the anti-black discrimination, but if you're a celebrity or if you're rich or if you're famous or if you're a powerful black person, you're going to be like, well, I haven't personally experienced that, even though I know that's a thing, right? But apparently in India or in Nepal, it doesn't matter. You're a goddamn president. You're a lower caste. You can't enter the temple. Wait, so th why did he just sit there on the stairs? Like, come on. You should have been like, fuck this. Oh, my. I swear. I shouldn't have sore. He should have just like, I'm coming in. Stop me. Like I'm like, come on, like, could he not like just be like, I'm you got you guys, like if it, I don't know if it was me, I would be like, okay, I'm gonna try to get in. The only way I'm not gonna get in is if you guys use force against me, and I want you to use force against me. Oh, is somebody saying it was fake news? It was fake news. President didn't face it as claimed by news. Okay, so I, now we're at, now we're getting reports that this was fake news. Arya is saying he's not referring to that. He's referring to the caste-based discrimination faced by President himself in Nepal. Well, that's what isn't that what we're talking about? Yeah, I know. I didn't say this guy is referring to that. I just knew. I just knew that if you have a president that is a Dalit, that must be an argument in India. Okay, so you're saying that the whole temple thing is fake news. Indian rationalists as well saying it was fake news. No, it is true. Google it. So some of you are saying it's true. Some of you are saying it's not true. He will be... Oof. He will be caved. Indian politics have goons. They are uneducated. Okay. Aryan is saying, the right-wing movement in India is driven by lower caste people. Hindutva wants to abolish caste, but it's very violent. Yep, so this is the problem that we have with Hindutva, because... 
The Hindutvas are like anti-caste system, and that seems like yay anti-caste. But then, like holy crap, they come in, they come up with their own toxic belief systems. So even though they're against caste, it's kind of like my God, there's so many similarities. You know, it's kind of like the far right people in the United States and that are like anti, like they're like for the working class and anti class divisions and anti um, corruption in politics and anti big corporate and like pro the working man. They're like, hey, that seems like. That seems like, hmm, like a lot of left, a lot of like far lefty people. Like, wait, that sounds a lot like us. And then they come like, yeah, for white people. And like, oh, 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 okay, okay. Now I see you guys are like, a little, not, not, yeah, okay. So they have like some ideas that some people are like, hey, that doesn't seem bad. And then you go deeper in, you're like, oof, no way, what, what? So like with Hindutva is like. Oh yeah, we're against the caste system, and we want to abolish that. Like, oh okay, that's that sounds good. That sounds great. I'm like, yeah, and we don't like Muslims. We're like, oh yeah, that sounds horrible. <laughs> so, so, okay, uh, what makes you part of a specific caste, economic background, or are there other differences like religion, ethnic background, geographical? It's based on heritage, Ronald. It's based on heritage. People can mostly tell by based on your family name. And their government records and shit, stuff like that. Uh, okay, Katie is saying Hindutva doesn't want to abolish caste. They want to unify Hindus against Muslims and Christians. That's why their current um, iteration seems to be anti-caste, right? So, yeah, they're, the Hindutva are so obsessed with Muslims that they're like, we're going to unite everybody against Muslims, regardless of your caste. So their caste... Their anti-caste views is because of is solely motivated from uh, to unite everybody against Muslims. Awesome is saying, what if someone changes his family name? Guys, actually, yeah, what if somebody just can you do that? Can you just hide your caste? Uh, the ones who are not who are saying president was not discriminated should have asked the upper caste. Uh, in rural areas, if they will call him their president. Wow. 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 There are 1,000 Muslims in RSS. Look it up. RSS is weird. Oh, yeah. 10,000 Muslims in the RSS. This, again, sounds like your proud boys that have black people in their ranks. Guys, there's so many similarities between right-wing people around the world, right? So the RSS has 10,000 Muslims in their ranks. It's very similar to the Proud Boys in the United States having a lot of black and Latinas in their ranks. Isn't that like the same thing? Hindutva want to, want to reinstate the san, Sanatana Dharma, i.e. casteism. Okay, but in the meantime, they want to abolish it. They're going to bring it back once the Muslim problem is gone. <laughs> I can't Oh my god, uh, uh, YouTube, this is these are not my views. I'm making fun of people. YouTube, YouTube gods, hold on, hold the strike, hold the strike. I was just ma I'm making fun of people who have these views. Okay. There is no Muslim problem. Okay. We are against people's ideas. We're not talking about an entire group of people. We do not do that here in this channel. Okay. We talk against those views. Hold this. I know. Oh my God. We were, we guys, we were, we almost got struck down by YouTube gods. Okay. Please, YouTube gods, everybody pray to the YouTube gods. Pray to the YouTube gods. Ask for their mercy. Please do not strike this channel. Um, and this is all cap, so I'm not going to read it because it's really hard to read all cap comments. Anyways, let's finish this video. They made him sit on the stairs and pray. So, so half of you are saying that this guy is, this is fake news, that the president, who was a Dalit, couldn't go into the temple. Some of you are saying this is fake news. Some of you are saying this is real news. Okay, reporter. Some said his wife's legs were painting. 
Okay, so some people are saying the reason why he didn't go into the temple was because his wife's legs were pain. Painting, painting is a verb? Many excuses will be given. You also know the fact. X B R C M G T N R M Man G G also faced such discrimination. की बात है जब जीतन राम माजी मुख्यमंत्री थे वो एक मंदिर The temple was washed after he visited. Oh my God! Imagine washing a temple because of a Lord caste person visited. मैं गया उस मंदिर को भी उन्होंने धोया वो भी दलित थे. He is also a Dalit. In order to drive their agenda, we are made Hindus. ये होते हैं तो हिंदू बना दिया जाता है नहीं तो मंदिर I like how this reporter keeps looking at the camera. <laughs> it's like breaking the fourth wall every time. It's like everyone, somebody saying something. He's like, he's like looking at us. Like, are you paying attention to this? Look at his face. <laughs> Suddenly, like every once in a while, I'm not, have you guys noticed he does that? Like the guy is commenting and he just looks at us and like, are you getting this? Are you getting? This? <laughs> like, are you getting this? <laughs> I, like, I like this guy. <laughs> Um, that guy is Jimmy Kim. <laughs> that guy is the Jimmy Kimmel of India. The rest of the time, we are not allowed to even enter a temple. Reporter, why are Dalits not allowed to enter a temple? Okay, I'm I'm assuming every time I see somebody has like an orange dot here. That means that they're upper caste, and that's how the reporter rec is. That true? Like, if you have an orange dot here, that's how the reporter is recognizing that you're upper caste. Is that how this works? Okay, Katie is translating his so He means to say that they are considered Hindus only when it suits their agenda, and rest of the time they are not allowed inside temples. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my God, we got another super chat that's going to show up on stream yard any second now. There we go. And Gibson is saying Hindutva want to make Muslims new outcasts like they did to Buddhist Chalmers, a Dalit caste in. Upper Pradesh were supposedly Buddhist. Really? My God, you guys are giving me so many interesting information. Thank you so much for the 100 rupee super chat. Okay, not at all. The guy is just religious. Okay, so thank you for not necessarily. Okay, so you guys are saying no, not necessarily. Somebody with the orange that doesn't mean that they're upper caste. No, it just means that they're religious. Oh, you're saying kind of. So somebody's saying kind of, but the rest of you are saying no. Kings usually have orange red dots on forehead in Indian movies. Yeah, I don't know. Is there, is there a difference between the orange dot and the red dot? Do they know there are, there are 5K Dalit priests in India? 5,000 Dalit priests in India. Thank you so much for the 40 rupee super chat. This seems like the same argument that people make. So five thousand dollar priests in India, that is not very many. So, so yeah. like we're talking about India, the most second second most populated country on the goddamn planet, right? The orange the, the orange dot means they. But thank you for the super chat. The orange dot means they are highly religious, but it's usually upper caste who are that religious. Yeah, I assume that like. I mean, if you're a lower caste, you're not very motivated to be like, yeah, I love this religion who sees me as inferior. So I guess the orange dot means you're religious. Doesn't mean you're upper caste. But maybe there's a correlation because, I mean, if your religion is telling you you're the, you're the bestest of best people, you are just Oh, you are wonderful. Oh, you are the superior. You're a superior people, okay? You are the bestest of all people. I like, I like this religion. Oh, tell me more Hinduism. Tell me more about me. Tell me how awesome I am. I love this religion. Yes, I'm going to be religious. It's the religion that's telling me how I'm awesome. Why would I not love this religion? It keeps telling me how awesome I am, okay? So maybe there's a correlation. I don't know. Yeah, uh... 
yeah, I'm not saying it's like a, I'm not saying the correlation is one on one. Obviously, there are lower caste people who are very religious. Okay, but obviously, it's not like a one on one relationship. But must be there must be some influence. It seems to me that uh, that Hindus like to claim Buddhism as a branch of Hinduism for PR reasons. But when people aren't looking, Brahmins are likely very lukewarm, to say the least. Yeah. All right, let's continue. So why are Dalits not allowed to enter a temple? Why, 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 why? What do you think the answer is going to be? I'm going to predict the answer is going to be either... Oh, either he's going to say, well, that's they, they decide this themselves. Nobody is forcing them to not come in. They just stay out themselves. Or he's going to say, there is no such a rule. Or is he going to say that it's just their dharma or something like that? I don't know. That's my guess. One of these three. When, they, when you go to the temple, they put a dot on your head. I'm not Hindu, and they do it to everyone. Those who raise such issues are anti in Oof! Those who raise such issues are anti-India! So, <laughs> oh my God, this guy's not even answering it. He's like, shut up, why are you even asking this question? Holy crap! Look at this guy. Look at this Nash. Holy, those who raise such issues are anti-India. Is that what? Are you serious? Wow! 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 Oh my God! Are you? Is this guy? Is this guy for real? <laughs> I did not expect this answer. Anti-India. कि मोटी घटनाओं को जो भी व्यक्ति प्रमुखता देते हैं, उनका निश्चित तौर पर वो भारत विरोधी लोग हैं, वो नहीं चाहते हैं कि भारत आगे बढ़े। कोई लोग supporting reservation is being anti-Indian? This reporter is asking. Reservation का पक्ष ले रहे हैं वो लोग भारत विरोधी लोग हैं। बिल्कुल। Yes. पंडित बोलते हैं। Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what's anti-Indian? You know what's anti-India? You guys know what's actually anti-India? This guy. This guy is anti-India. Jesus Christ. This guy is... Okay, this reporter is your national treasure. This guy is holding India back. Pandits say... Um, okay, so the priests say, don't let Chamars enter the... Cham How many different names do you have for lower caste people? God damn it. What is Chamar? Is Chamar lower caste? Katie saying, yes, everyone who criticizes Hinduism and the government are considered anti-national and often uh, charges with blasphemy and sed or sedation. Uh, F -A -F -U -C -K sed sed oh, sedition, sedition, sorry. Is that how you say it? Yes. Yes, yes. Chamara is letter worker. Letter worker is like a lower caste. Yes. It is it is an abusive word. Chamar is a lower caste from northern India. Wow, my god, this whole caste system is very complicated. So lower caste people in northern India are mostly letter or letter workers. Is that how it works? Letter smiths or lower caste. This kind of like sounds like a there needs to be like a video game that is a, oh, it's an N word. This is the India's N word. It is an abusive word. Wow. Okay, pandits say that, okay, so chamers is India's N word. Pandits say don't let uh, chamers enter the temple. So did you try to go? There needs to be like, I like I I hope to see a day where like lower caste people they just like storm the temples and they just go sit in. There needs to be a sit in, you know. Oh, there needs to be a national sit in day. Is there a national? Is that a thing in India? There needs to be. You know how? Okay, hold on.
Look at this. Remember in the United States where black people are, were not allowed in certain restaurants? I can't show you this. Hold on. How do I show you this? Okay, here. I'll show you this way. Stop screen. Screen share. Chrome, Chrome tab. You see this? Do you have something like this in India? You see that where the black people went and sat in the restaurants that they were not supposed to sit in? This was called... You guys have something like this? There needs to be something like this for temples in India. Where they just went and like it, was, like, it says like all restaurants that that had um, no white uh, only white serving only white policies these people just went and sit there there needs to be something like this for India lower caste people go sit in temples let me see if there is anything like this no no okay yeah I know this but I want to is there something like this in India? Yes, we have. You do? Oh, yes, you did. Yes, Dr. Um, uh, um, um, oh, yeah, I know this. Ambed Carr did it. There is also a cast within lower cast. Yeah. Not, oh, you're saying not currently. This needs to be like a national holiday in India. No, not currently. Won't be surprised if that has happened in India to lower caste. There was a song made by someone in the Chamar community that translates to proud to be Chamar. They received a lot of hate for it and were made fun of too. Aww. Yeah, letter work. Yeah, imagine that being a dirty word. Letter work is like a... Yeah. I mean, when you... When you play video games, like letter working is like you go and <laughs> this is to be a video game. The Chamber one. Why people cannot just respect each other if not divided by religion and be divided by class? Okay, Ronald, that's like a question that people like that's a question that people have been trying to answer for like only only like the past ten thousand years, I think. Um but guys, how come this is this needs to be a national annual day, national annual day in India where all the lower caste people go for, go at the same time all over India go sit in the temple and refuse to leave all over the country. Can we make that a thing? Can we make that a thing? An annual event? Let's make that an annual event. This could be an atheist republic led movement where lower caste people in India, when we motivate all every single Dalit in India to go sit in the temple. I stopped going to the temple. Oh, I should like, I'm not going to go to the temple. What is the use of going if they drive us away? Um, oh, that's so sad. What did they say when you go there? Yeah, I'm so sad. Like, what? What? Oh, my God. So. Qasim is saying, if you want to have a chance of visiting India, lead this action. I don't think I would be able to visit India. Oh, Indian rationalists is saying there is a temple in India where upper castes are not allowed as a protest. Interesting. Yeah, she looks like a devout Hindu, but she's uh, but she's lower caste, so she's not allowed. What did they say when you go there? They say we will not let the chamers enter. Look, he's. <laughs> I love this reporter. He's like, he keeps looking at us. Like, are you are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this nonsense? He keeps looking at the camera. 
<laughs> like, are you guys, can you guys believe this crap? That's that's the look on his face. Can you guys <laughs> get a load of this crap? <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy. They say we will not let the chamers enter. There are temples for of every god. But they don't let us build Shankar Fakir's temple. What's Shankar Fakir's temple? What is this? What does that mean? He's looking like to stay away from. Yeah, I know. You guys told me this reporter is ex Muslim. But what is what does this mean? Shak Shankar Fakir's temple. Shankar is Shiva? Some god. Okay. So like the Dalits wanted to build their own temple and they wouldn't let them? Oh, so you're saying it's a, it's a low low caste priest. He was oh a Dalit saint. Ah, uh, the Dalits one they have their own saint and they want to do a temple for their own Dalit saint and they like you guys don't get to even build your own temple. That is so some low caste priest. Oh, they can't eat. Oh, that's so <laughs> they're like okay. If you guys don't, we have a Dalit priest, you guys don't let us in our your temples. Can we build our own temple based on this Dalit priest? They're like, nope. Nope, you can't have your own. Oh my God, that is so sad. It's a Dalit guru. Can we have a temple to Armin, Guru Armin? Can we have a Guru Armin temple? If we build a Guru Armin temple, Dalits are welcome. And Dalits are welcome in the Guru Armin temple. How about that? Because he was a chamar. 